draft. Very interesting draft overall. I love it though. It's about 50-50, but I will say that the Burmese ghouls look a lot more standard, a lot more uh, solid in terms of their composition. And right now we are... It's hard to contribute, but welcome to the Land of Dawn in our final best of three of today. It's going to be RSG versus Burmese ghouls. Let's see who comes up on top. And as you can see right here, Sana is going to be the... Ta well, tank? Tank Khaled tank? with the Festival of Blood? Tank Khaled? I guess maybe gonna get the ejector onto Jason here, but that doesn't mean that he's gonna die, especially when it comes to the strikes coming out of Sana. He chunks him out, but Sana in trouble. KZP looking for the opportunity to get the trade kill, and they trade one for one at the end of the day. However, that recall might cost them as the next wave is about to collapse. You know what? That was a great play coming out from maybe because he knew that Jason was at level one. And he got the uh -oh. idea that it's going to be the first killer rather than this, the hat trick. So uh -oh. it's more likely that he cannot escape that since he doesn't have the flicker as well. But Sana here, just going in, trying to protect his buddy. Yeah, I mean, he's doing an okay job. Sink mm. again, melee into ranged matchup. Not exactly the most ideal, but he is uh, he is a show and he has a lot of kill pressure at four. He goes in oh. and flickers out with a third hit of Jeet Kune Do. Ruby DD suspects something is up and he's able to flicker out in time as he does notice the exclamation mark only shown by Natalia. Flicker for flicker, that is a good trade. And right now, after that, you can see Natalia. He's gonna go out, all out on this bottom lane. Yeah. Look yeah. at him. Ooh, He's already on the back lines. They're going for the full dive. Where BDD takes a lot of damage, allowing Jason to easily pick it off. Maybe looking for an injector, looking for an opportunity. Throws Jason under the turret sink, unable to catch him with the third hit of Jeet Kune Do in time to cancel the ability. They trade one for one again. Maybe is punishing Jason way too hard right now. Uh, yeah. Everything, every attempt that he goes for the kill, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be turn around or it's gonna be a trade. Yeah, it, it, it's not looking the best for... Sh oh no, Sana's gonna get caught off. D, he was able to wait in the brush just in time. And now the Sandstorm got in trying to protect himself. Sana, gonna get a little bit of damage on through. And yes, he makes it through. One for one, D. Now under the uh, under the microscope of LY4KZP ZP is nearby, but he doesn't want to get executed. Oh boy, both of these teams, ooh, really going at it. It's a two for one trade in favor of the Burmese Ghouls. Energy shields going down here bit by bit, and they even bring A, so this might be the first turn down for the game. Look at this, all the damage output that's coming out from these players. It only takes them to 140 HP, and they're probably planning to just break it right now. Uh-huh, and once again, they're making the play down on mid side. However, bottom side is getting dove, and uh, that's going to be Sink, who's taking... What? No, was it Sink? No, he manages to get out without losing too much. However, the rest of the team of the Burmese Ghouls net themselves the first turn of the game. And maybe here... Uh-oh. Uh, oh. He gets hit by the way of the Dragon, but he's able to flicker on out. Ace still on the chase. Sana gets hit by literally everything. Oh, no. When you don't have that much mobility, there's only so much you can do. Ace on the chase. I love it. It drives. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a good ring. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of a good ring, but, you know... Uh, you know what? Just seeing the Burmese schools play like this, I mean, they're using all their ultimates to escape. They're not really letting, uh, you know, letting their guard down. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They want, uh, they just want to survive as long as possible so that they can keep the pressure on the heroes here onto the side of RSG. But LY4 getting caught up by the Imperial Justice. But there is a Purify, and here comes oh. D with a Lapu Lapu. One more hit, KPZ actually survives. Yeah, KZP manages to survive after all of that, and it looks like uh, D just, you know, the, the senses in him just told him, yeah, I could trade one for one, but instead, <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, the Brave Warrior out of there, don't need to do this. Ruby DD has got a great push down on bot side. Mid lane needs to be cleared. It's too much of a risk. You know what? A lot of theses are happening in the Philippines. I just called him KPZ. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, for it's me, it, for me, like, <laughs> Only From natural. all the PZs oh, in the Philippines. Oh, hold on here. Zink is going to get locked down by the Imperial Justice with a bait coming in from Ruby DD. While D as well as Ace on towards the top side here getting pretty hard chunked out. Sana missing, uh, missing the huge 
huge alt there. It would have landed, but the flicker was necessary coming out mm -hmm. of D. A nice usage there of uh, the flicker. Didn't really hold back on it. Mm -hmm. He knew that if he got caught, he would go down. Yeah, it's just making, making sure that you're utilizing your battle spells. But D is doing a really good job, really showcasing what Lapu Lapu was made out of. He can he can do he can do so much in a lane, and uh, his scaling has just been so so good. Mm -hmm. Ace here, having the best time. One zero two. Nobody has ever touched him yet or took him down in any sense. But you know, for the side of RSG, even Sync is forced to use the flicker and they're really going at it on these uh, turrets. Yeah, I mean, just the, the objective gameplay coming out of the Burmese Ghouls are look, is looking really, really clean. They're 3k ahead, Rubidd takes quite a bit of damage from the Blazing Duet. Oh no, forces the flicker and the Deadly Magic is going to secure that kill. Jason comes, out, Jason, Jason comes out ahead, however, they still aren't evening out on that score. Sana gets ejected up and gets hit by the Unstoppable Force, but it's not really going to pressure anything other than zone him out from mid-tier one. Yeah, Burmese Ghouls here. They're not really contesting the farm here of uh, LY4 directly. They're trying to deal with it indirectly. What they're trying to do right now is to just make his map smaller. But Sink here getting caught out and that is it for him. Lapu Silvana, where do you go to? Yeah, especially when you don't have it. Oh, Sensum got her coming out of Sana. You see Abel with the Festival of Blood as well. Ooh, manages to survive and get that kill onto Ace. They are trading one for one again. KZB looking for the execute, but maybe he had his he had his finger on the ejector, ready to throw KZB over under towards Kid's side. This game is action back, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. As you've noticed, we were still explaining stuff and one fight was happening to the mid lane already. That's how aggressive these teams are. Yeah, they are just looking to trade left, right, and center from towers to uh, from objectives to kills. Now, looking at it, going back to what I was saying earlier, it seems to me that they're not really, you know, contesting the farm of the Claude directly. Mm -hmm. They're doing it indirectly. They're trying to make his, his map smaller, but he gets still gets caught out. Why yep. that unstoppable force? Yeah, as, well, although no ejector. Yeah, no ejector there, mainly because he did use it. Uh, mainly Purify. because he uses Purify in time. Oh, but now Y4 comes in hard with the Blazing Duet. He takes one with him, but three members are already down for the side of RSG. Jason is incapable of doing anything. Ruby DD gets a fat stun there onto two members on the side of RSG. What a play. Burmese ghouls not holding back on their punches. They're making them suffer here. And Sink, where are you going? That is going to be Imperial Justice. And you cannot shoot Po out of that. No, you cannot. But he did use the Way of the Dragon just a little bit too late. The amount of CC coming out of the Burmese ghouls is kind of ridiculous. It's hard to move around. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, Ruby, DD, and Kit going for the push. These are two mages, mind you. They're not really the best heroes to push with, but they made it happen there. K KP, K ZP, actually, is gonna go and try to uh, initiate, but you know what? He doesn't have enough damage. Yeah, he really doesn't. I mean, he chunks him out and he and maybe does go down. But at the end of the day, you are losing a lot of that gold. You are making your net worth get reduced every single time you die. And you can see in the gold differential, it is a 6K gold differential in favor of the Burmese ghouls. Now, Burmese ghouls, they need to make the most out of this. They should be mindful of what the Claude is doing right now. The Claude has only one death on his belt. So that means he's been farming for a quite a good uh, amount of time now. For a large amount of time. And mm. not to mention that he did take the Avarice as well, which I found pretty interesting, especially since he went into the wards, the offlane side, and was just looking to get as much gold as possible off of those free hits in that melee to ranged matchup. <laughs> right now, as you can see, RSG, they're actually converging onto the mid lane and they're trying to make sense of this game. What can you do to stop the snowball that Burmese ghouls are running them with. 
over right now. Oh, I don't know because Sink he is on the run. Oh, oh, Imperial Justice does not land. He is looking for an option. He flickers for it as well and gets the execute. Holy! They found an option, but KZP once again. Will oh, for D finding a huge pick off there. That was so good. It's a triple kill coming in for Ace. Make it a quadra maniac coming out by Big Boy Ace. And now they are looking to try and break into the inhibitor turrets and end this game. KZP can only do so much. KZP and his gang, this is the 30 second rule. There are 30 seconds on the timers on four people here. Can they defend this? That is the question. Can they, uh, can they contest the minions? And yes, they will. Wow. Just, yeah. Well, I mean, RSG does have good wave clear mechanics. Mm -hmm. I, I, honestly, it, it was really, if Wormy's Ghouls really wanted to rush for it, there was a chance. However, they don't want to take the risk. Might as well pull back. It's 10 minutes. It's The score is 9 to 18. They are so far ahead in this game. It is ridiculous. I don't think RSG, uh, RSG can really force a play onto the Wormy's yeah. Ghouls. When you rush stuff, you make more mistakes. So right now, D gets caught out. And this is what I'm saying about when you rush stuff. Because he was there on the enemy lines. LY4 is the main target, but he doesn't have any more HP. Joint goes down. Imperial Justice on the back lines. Ladies and gentlemen, they all go down except for the Claude. And this is going to be LY4's defense. Can he clear this up? Does he have the Blazing Duet? No. He doesn't have it right now. They go in. They try to take him down. BMI out, and that is going to be. The, those are two mages into the middle lane. They're trying to. They're trying to end this right now. Blazing duet. Trying to go for a kid. Kid goes down. Ruby Didi. Oh my goodness, LY4 Ooh. just saved the day right there. Yeah, he is just holding on to the reins here. And unfortunately, he needs to take out this Lord. But the rest of the Burmese ghouls, they won't be able to get there in time as the rest of RSG respawn to defend one more time. It looks like Singapore is still in it to win it. It is only game number one, but the fight is hot. And make sure you guys join the fight, you know, just, just putting it out there. I mean, it rhymes. I see what you did there. I, I, th I, think it, I see I, what you did there, uh, like I, a little it, too late. It, 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 has a, it has a good ring. It, it does. It does. It has a really good ring to it, as <laughs> a matter of fact. But now, the Burmese Ghouls. Okay, Lord, out of the question now. What are we going to have to do? It looks like they're... I mean, for now, RSG has some breathing room, but they can't afford to make a mistake here. If somebody gets picked off, it's not going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things, other than the fact that the Burmese Ghouls are going to muscle their way into their base. Now, Sink, he gets caught out, and this is what I was, what I was talking about. He gets all three hits of the Jeet Kune Do. Sink doesn't take the second part of the way of the Dragon. He is looking to Shunpo away, but that doesn't mean anything when you have nowhere to turn. All of the Burmese Ghouls lanes right now, or all the lanes are actually in favor of Burmese Ghouls right now. Like, everything is pushing to their side. The only reason why the top is pushing for the side of RSG is because Natalia is there trying to cut the minions. But will he, will he make it in time? That is the question. Burmese Ghouls just ended it right there. They knew that the Natalia was up top. They punished that well. Yeah, it was a checkmate. It was no go back situation, especially after that pick on uh, to sink. They were a man down. They just knew they had to muscle on in, try to clear the wave. We'll pick off another guy. Wait for the next one. We'll pick off another guy, and there wouldn't be enough time to. Fearless. <laughs>